right, what's up, y'all? It's Adana. So I wanted to talk about CME. Now, if you don't know what CME is, it is continuing your medical education, but specifically you need CME, like you need to continue your medical education because medicine is forever growing and changing. And so because of that, you have to actually keep up with the times. And that is actually very important for your certification as a PA. So if you didn't know about it, now you'll know and you'll learn a little bit more in this video. So let's get into the video right now. All right, what's up you guys, it's Adana. What's up, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk to you guys about CME. Now, obviously, if you are a pre-PA student or a PA student, like CME is probably the furthest thing for your mind, but you can also like just be reading up on medical education and knowledge just so that you are knowledgeable when you actually get into PA school. But once you become a PA, it's actually pretty important because without keeping up with your CME, you can no longer be a PA. Well, that's not actually true. You can no longer be a certified PA, which is really what's important because without having your certification, you cannot practice clinically. And so it's important for you to keep up with your CME. We're required to have about 100 hours of CME in different categories, category one and category two. And you'll learn more about that throughout PA school. And then obviously after you become a PA. Um, but I wanted to point out a very good way to not only get PA CME or CME for your PA certification, but also at the same time study for those board exams. So let's go right here. I wanted to take you guys to um, Ross Review and uh, Ross Review offers lots, 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 lots in the CME sector, okay, when it comes to your pants and pan re and that recertification. So uh, there are various different review courses for not only pants, pan re, but the pan re LA, which is the longitudinal as assessment. And that's the one that you kind of take at home, okay, you don't have to go into a building to actually take it. Now, it's different prices and um, different times that it's offered. But I just wanted to show you guys that on the computer. So here you have the pants package. Now the pants package does not come with CME, which makes sense because if you are now getting certified as a PA, you don't need CME just yet, right? Like you have to be a certified PA first. And then once you start practicing, then you'll need a hundred hours within a two year time period to actually keep your certification. Okay. So just keep that in mind. That's why it doesn't offer that. However, um, it does offer 30 hours of live content. Okay, you have two instructors, live camera, and um, if you didn't see my short, if I haven't posted it yet, I will do a short about that, where it kind of shows you exactly what that means. So you get a visual understanding of what it means to have interactive live two instructors teaching you on camera, which is really, it's really cool. So just, just keep an eye out for that one, okay? You'll also get 570 pants style questions, which is really great because with these exams, it's all about rep repetition and taking the exams and taking the questions and getting used to actually like answering these questions. So that is very important. And with that, that content is very high yield and very quality. So you're going to be well prepared for your board exams. Um, and then there is the 100% pass guarantee. And so you'll go in, uh, there are things that you have to like, just make sure that you've checked all those boxes, but that guarantee is there for you. And it shows you here that you have different um, months. It's usually every month. So January, February, um, there's not one in March because it's so close to the end of February, but April and then the end of April into May. So that is something to keep in mind. Usually it is a four day course, but the one in January is five days. So just if you want like a little extra learning, I guess you could say that might be a good option for you. Now let's look at the Panry and the Panry LA. A little bit more expensive, obviously, but um, well, I guess because you're a PA and then you like get a little bit extra, right? So you get these 20 hours of CME. And as I stated before, you had a hundred hours that you need to actually keep your certification. So you are a fifth of the way there with these 20 hours, which is actually really, really good. Um, because a lot of times you're like, you know, I don't want to have to go to this conference to get CME. Like, I just want to do this in the comforts of my own bed. And this is an option for you because 
you can literally be like sitting up like you know not only studying for your board exams but at the same time collecting CME so that's really a good option for you um, again you still get the two live instructors um, you get 970 pantry style questions which is like a extra added bonus from what you were getting as when uh, as a pants um, review course however all of the other things are still the same. You still get high yield digital content and handouts. Um, you do get performance analytics. So just kind of see how you're doing. And again, still this 100% task guarantee. So it's really, really good. It uh, happens at the same time as the pants review course, but obviously it's going to be different instructors like teaching the different courses. Same thing in January. It's a five day course instead of a four day course. All of the other months have four day courses. And then I just want to come down to the bottom to show you exactly um, how you would claim those CME. So you would go into your account settings, you claim, um, you sit, sit, you select claim on the next like subscription package name, and then you'll complete the survey and download your certificate because it's really important to not only say, oh, I did this CME, but have the certificate to back it up because if you were to get audited and you need to show your certificates of the CMEs that you're claiming, you have that to prove that or you can just upload it in NCCPA automatically so there's no like questions about it. But this is really, really good. Um, I wanted to just really highlight the CME portion of things for you practicing PAs because it is a really good benefit to not only study for your boards, but yet at the same time get CME hours while doing it from the comforts of your own home. So if you're interested in that, I will leave a description, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description box below um, for you guys so you can go and check it out. Uh, there are some uh, like kind of free packages to like test things out. So just like take a look at that as well when you peruse around Ross Reviews website. Uh, they have a lot to offer, so I don't want to limit you in what you're looking for, okay? But definitely go check it out. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Adon with K and on Instagram at Get That's University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.